What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Smartphone World. Well, today I'm just talking strictly about Samsung. The next episode after this one will be all about HTC. Today I'm talking about three specific phones from Samsung that are going to be coming out in the near future. And the first one is the Samsung Galaxy Active. The Active is actually the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active. I apologize for messing that up. The reason why they're calling it the Active is because that it's going to be water resistant, shock resistant, it is going to be built tougher, it is going to be, it's going to be able to withstand drops to the floor, it's going to be able to go underwater for up to 30 minutes, I think down to 2 meters, but you also have to understand that it will damage the phone if it is under there too long. This is going to be the Galaxy S4 version for people that always destroy their smartphone. Samsung has decided, hey, instead of having to go out and buy cases and screen protectors that are going to make the phone just get covered up and everything, let's put our own built-on protection. And that's what they did with the Active. Now, the, the Active is also a 5-inch display. It's going to have the 13-megapixel camera. It's also going to have the Snapdragon 600 processor inside of it. That's terrific. Uh, Let's see how many people actually go out there and buy it because I do like how thin the Samsung Galaxy S4 is. Remember this one is going to be a little bit thicker because it is tougher. I did hear some information that the battery might be a little bit smaller but don't hold on to that one too much. The next phone that I want to talk about today is the Samsung Galaxy Zoom. This one I don't really know why it is going to be in existence but it is and guys I'm sorry. To me, this is a pointless smartphone. Smartphone? Really? Maybe it is actually a camera phone. A camera with a smartphone attached to it. Only because of the fact that it has a 10 times optical zoom on top of a 16 megapixel camera. That is pretty impressive on a smartphone, except for the fact that the lens actually zooms out of this. This is a very thick phone. It's a very heavy phone. It is not going to be, you know, out there winning awards for how great it looks. It does not look good to me at all. It is only a 4.3 inch display, it will be a QHD display, it only has 8 gigs of internal memory which to me is a failure especially when you have a camera like that and you're going to be taking videos in picture. The great thing about that camera is the fact that you'll be able to zoom. When you zoom with a regular smartphone it really doesn't do it justice because it you know, takes away from the quality of the shot. With this one, 10 times optical zoom, it will do a lot better, but remember, in the end, it is zooming in. Get closer, that's all I gotta say. Now, moving on, the last phone that I wanna talk about today is the Galaxy Note 3. To me, this is the best phone out of all three that I would love to get my hands on, especially after the information that I heard that it's gonna be having the Snapdragon 800 processor. That is the, four, the quad core 2.3 gigahertz processor that will pretty much destroy every other processor out there right now. I mean, we see these tests out there right now showing on how the Snapdragon 600 processor and the 5 octa 8 core processor are neck and neck in a lot of the tests. I mean, it depends on which test you go with, depends on which one wins. They are pretty much equal in my mind on performance except that the TouchWiz has slowed down the process, but well, that's a whole other story. Getting back to the Note 3, the Note 3 should have about 2 or 3 gigs of RAM. You should not expect anything less than 2 gigs of RAM. It will have a 13 megapixel main camera, 2 2.1 megapixel front camera. It will also have you know, the same memory choices that you see in the previous Note models and a micro SD slot. That to me is terrific. You can get away with having a 16 or 32 gig version and just slap another 64 gigabyte card inside for maximum memory usage. That is terrific. I cannot wait. We should see this phone in the third quarter of 2013 and I am excited to get my hands on it and do the tests for you. So that was pretty much the end of today's episode. I did not really want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini because to me that is a pointless smartphone as well. The next episode will be about HTC and about the T6, so that will be an exciting episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Please check out my Facebook fan page. Visit thatsmartphoneshow.com for articles. 
and go to the Google Plus community for Smartphone World. We already hit over 1,400 members and our conversations are hilarious, guys. You should check them out. Thanks a lot, everybody, and have a great day.